Welcome to ETDs, Understand Your Options Before Clicking Submit. This is video number six, Copyright Registration. When you submit your thesis or dissertation through ProQuest, one of the questions you will need to consider is whether you want to register your copyright with the United States Copyright Office. Under U.S. law, copyright protection applies automatically as soon as your work is fixed in a tangible format, such as on paper or saved electronically. No notice or registration is required for you to hold a valid copyright in your work. While registration is not required for protection, there are several advantages to registering your work. First, if you ever want to file a lawsuit for infringement of your work, it must first be registered with the Copyright Office. Second, if the copyright registration is timely, you may be eligible for statutory damages of up to $150,000. Third, if your registration is timely and your litigation is successful, you may also be awarded attorney's fees. To be timely within the meaning of copyright law, your application must be filed within three months of publication. Publication has a defined meaning for purposes of copyright law and does not require traditional scholarly publication. Making your work available in ProQuest in Digital Georgetown would fall within the statutory definition of publication, which is offering to distribute copies to a group of persons for purposes of further distribution. If you decide to register your copyright, you can do it yourself using the Copyright Office's Electronic Copyright Office system, or you may be able to have ProQuest do it for you for a fee. The rest of this video will guide you through the process of registering your copyright with the Copyright Office and ProQuest. To register your copyright yourself, go to eco.copyright.gov. First, you will need to create an account using the If you are a new user, click here to register link and complete the registration form. Once you have created your account, you can log into the ecosystem. Your thesis or dissertation will be eligible for the standard application, so click on the Start Registration button to begin. Complete the information required on each of the screens. Type of work. Your thesis or dissertation is a literary work. Read the definition of literary work on the screen, check the box to confirm your choice, and click Continue. Titles. Click on the New button to add your title and click Save. Click Continue again unless you are registering more than one work. Publication slash completion. Assuming that your work has been approved and submitted to ProQuest, answer yes to the question, has this work been published? Then enter the date that your work was published in ProQuest and the other information requested and click Continue. Authors. Click Add Me and fill in the additional required information and click Save. Note what type of content you created and click Save again. Click Continue since you have no co-authors. Claimants. Click Add Me, then confirm the information is correct and click Save. Click Continue since you are the only claimant. Limitation of Claim. In this section, you will need to disclaim any material in your thesis or dissertation that is not your own, with the exception of direct quotations, which do not need to be disclaimed. Examples of works that do need to be disclaimed are artwork, photographs, charts, or graphs created by someone else and previously published articles. If you have any such materials in your thesis or dissertation, check the appropriate boxes and then click Continue. Note that the copyright status of a disclaimed work does not matter for purposes of this section. Even if the works are in the public domain, fair use materials, or materials used with permission, they must be disclaimed if they are not your original work. If you have no material to be disclaimed, just click Continue. Rights and Permissions If you wish, you may click the Add Me button to provide your contact information to assist users in contacting you for permission to use your work. Click Continue. Correspondent. Click Add Me so that the Copyright Office will have your up-to-date contact information. Click Continue. Mail Certificate. Click Add Me and Continue. Special Handling. Unless you have a specific need for special handling, click Continue to skip this step. Certification. Read the certification statement, 
Then click the box to certify that you are the copyright holder for your thesis or dissertation. Type your name in the box and click Continue. Review Submission. Review your submission and add it to your cart. When you check out, you will need to pay the fee online from your bank account or with a credit or debit card. This will be $35 if you are not disclaiming any part of your work and $55 if you disclaimed any parts of your thesis or dissertation in the claimant section of the registration form. After your payment is processed, choose Upload Deposit to submit your PDF online. For instructions on how to upload your document, check out the Copyright Office's FAQ. After you submit your online application, you will get an email message acknowledging receipt. It can take up to eight months for the Copyright Office to mail you your registration certificate. A simpler method of registration, if you do not have any third-party material to disclaim, is to check the box in the ProQuest submission form and have them do it for you. The fee will be $55 instead of $35 through the ecosystem. Note that this option is only available if you can certify that there is no material from another source in your thesis or dissertation other than direct quotations. If you have any questions about copyright registration for your thesis or dissertation, please contact the Director of Copyright and Scholarly Communication.